Will you look at that? How do we get across? That did it. Watch your step. It's still a long drop. messed up my eyes. No sunlight, no water. They should all be dead. The source of the system lockdown may yield more information. We appear to be close. I didn't eat a big breakfast.
Nice work, people. Looks like a side room. Still, it could be anything in here. Oh, <laughs> nope. It'll be fine. The... Uh, no, just the light. See? Absolutely fine. It's okay. It's fine. Knew it. Phew. Come on. It made a new path. I think that's the right way. We could reach it if we backtrack. Observers coming up at us! Armor hydraulics compensating. Oh, that bit slippery. Got a path to. Whoa! Gravity wells down already, and this place goes even deeper. What's at the bottom? Let's not find out the hard way. Too far, even for jump jets. Now that is cool. Like the moment before lightning. Feel that? This whole platform's resonating with something. We must be close. No question. This is the heart of the vault. I've never seen anything like it. All conduits converge here, Pathfinder. That must be the lockdown console.
sealed off. I don't think we can burn through that. The back of my... My neck's doing that thing. It's all so huge. I see one thing, I'm probably missing three more. Any thoughts, Sam? Unknown. Though it appears related to the lockdown, an in-depth study may reveal its purpose. The system lockdown is disabled. The vault and the atmosphere processor should return to full operation. Ryder, you fixed the lockdown, didn't you? The whole place is lighting up. Power readings are off the chart. Really, really off the chart. But if it's back online, we should be good to Should we go? Baby, get back to the entrance now. I saw it. What is that thing? Don't risk it, just go! Watch out, Vince! Keep running! Too far to jump! Got another bridge? It would be wise to escape, Ryder. I know, Sam! Console is attempting surface reconnection. Come on! Bolt restart is now complete. That was. Talk about. 
without a rush. What was that field? Might have been sweeping the vault, or chasing us. An immune response? Maybe one last scrub before startup? This place is full of surprises. Nothing like outrunning death. Or reactivating a huge mysterious vault. Nice going. Atmosphere processor is online. Recovering last console activity. Is that the Helios cluster? Yeah. There we are. That's Eos. Whoa. Did restarting the system do that? If that light is us, then... All these points could be vaults in other worlds. Dormant like this one. Maybe. But why is there a whole network of them? What's all this for? Unless the builders show up to explain themselves, all we've got is guesswork. So far we've seen bots, living plants, atmosphere processors. Back home, some corporation hit a desert world with an ice comet. They changed the atmosphere to bring rain. To help with support life. That first processor we saw was making things worse, but maybe it malfunctioned. Is that what these builders were trying to do? Make worlds habitable? Even terraform a whole cluster? Hey, look there. That's different. Maybe it's active? We've got to go see. Sam? Extrapolating. These coordinates lie beyond the space we have currently surveyed, Pathfinder. Mark it on our charts. We need more to go on. Let's head up to the surface. I could use some fresh air. Look at that sky. How? No atmosphere processor works that fast. If this effect is representative, Pathfinder, air and moisture patterns will show noticeable improvement. Eos could support an outpost. A foothold. That's all we need. Just enough to begin. This remnant technology could be the key to our survival, if we can control it. You can. Kind of. Still, wouldn't hurt to find a manual. We've got a lead. Sam marked it on the charts down there. That site is active, whatever it is. Who knows what we'll find there. We? You want to come along? I want to know what makes the Remnant tick. You've got a key to their technology. Or a crowbar, at least. <sighs> Welcome aboard. We'll get you a fancy job title to go over your bunk. I only need a footlocker. Data pad, toothbrush, clean underwear, that'll do. I'll catch up with you. Well, this will be interesting. Now for our new. You have already logged an ideal site. Nav point noted. Updating Tempest. The Nexus is on pins and needles, Ryder. Pods are inbound and ready. Let's go make it happen.
Ascent is go. Leaving Atmo. All clear. Koro wanted to check in with you. Descent is green. Coordinating. Path is calm. Remember the Nomad's jump jets. They'll get you over most obstacles. If you need more juice, the boosters can accelerate you out of trouble. Pathfinder, another deceased colonist. I liked those pre-trip vision paintings of future Eos. Green fields, rivers, forests. Wonder what it'll really be like down the line. Fewer death storms would be nice. We'll get there. Pathfinder is enough to tip the balance.
Activating automated forward station deployment. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Pathfinder, this area... Cat ahead. They appear to be fighting a Krogan. Is that... Drac? Radiation within safe levels. Life support at 100%. We've got hostiles! Ryder, about time you joined the party. telling me <laughs> you can really handle yourself kid and I hear you're the one to thank for clearing up the sky had your number all wrong you're not so bad yourself old man maybe we should work together after all this fight was pretty good but you're still Nexus and green as a drill still something tells me you've got potential be ashamed to waste that I mean, just point me to your ship and try to keep up. This is gonna be great. This is where we'll build our new outpost. A real beginning. Prepping deployment order. You must choose what purpose this new outpost will serve. The Nexus doesn't get a say? Resources are at a crisis point. Protocol states this judgment call falls to the Pathfinder. With current supplies, you could build a military outpost focusing on defense and militia training. Alternatively, a scientific outpost could advance the initiative's research and discoveries. I'm choosing this outpost's direction for decades, maybe centuries. That is the prime responsibility of a Pathfinder. Be advised that the first outpost placed by a Pathfinder will be a statement in itself. Fair or not, your choice will represent the initiative and its intentions in Andromeda. Consider carefully. Prioritize research and discovery. That's our foundation. And our future. Orders prepped. Ready on your signal. Andromeda Initiative, this is Ryder. Pathfinder. EOS is ready for deployment. Copy that. Outpost block inbound. And ready as hell. August Bradley, operational head for this block. Mayor now, I suppose. We're ready to make the most of what you delivered.
It took a lot of people to get us this far. That's the work you'll continue. I hear that. Prodromos. That's what we're calling her. They're eager. I haven't seen eager for months. Eos is far from golden. But now it's a producer. A real and reasonable first step. They think you did the impossible. The Nexus. I warned them, hoping was... irresponsible. You proved me wrong, Pathfinder. I appreciate your candor. We're all on the same side. I wouldn't go that far. The Reality Rider? You brought us time. But one outpost on a long-shot planet won't stop us from starving. You already have a lead on... something else? The nav point from the... vault. Now it gets complicated. The others are ready to officially sanction your efforts, to be a part of your success. We all want the initiative to succeed. But after failing for so long, no one agrees on how to do it. Be aware, that's all. I don't care why anyone helps, so long as they do. I've heard that before. Talk to Bradley. Later, we'll go over the extended job of Pathfinder. Until then, Tan's waiting on the Nexus. Sorry I came to this, Pathfinder. Pathfinder? And have you noticed how clean the air smells? Helps that there's zero pollution here, but yeah, it tastes new. Another memory trigger? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. Mayor Bradley. Pathfinder, good to see you. We're busy as anything thanks to you. Bit dusty, but we can adapt. It's worth it when it's your own. Let's not drive people too hard. Rough enough getting this far. Nothing you see here came from cracking a whip. Everyone is just ready. You go do what you need to on the Nexus. Follow that dot. There will be more to do on EOS later. Some key positions, Connor Supply, Ramirez Medical, Abram Science, Fox Engineering. With them and my major domo, we won't end up like site one and two.
I combed the first two outpost attempts. Those people died trying. And they deserved better from the Nexus. That's where I point the finger. We'll remember. You changed this planet. But that doesn't make it easy. We'll use the efforts of those who went before. Good people, every last one. I'd have been honored to fail with any of them. Looking back isn't a good use of time. We have to keep building. Keep is generous. We have to start. Real building, not just survival. Oh, and Pathfinder, this is for you. It's our flag. Hang it where the Nexus can see. It's touched the soil of our first outpost in Andromeda. Make it real. Head for the Nexus, Pathfinder. For Drummos, we'll have more going on when you come back later. Nexus must be waiting, Pathfinder. Relax. There will be more for you on EOS after you get back. What's behind naming the outpost Prodromos? It means Forerunner. Languages bore the shit out of me, but we voted fair. That ownership is key to the initiative. That's how you convince a bunch of civilians to jump galaxies. As long as we meet our obligations to the Nexus, what we build and how we organize, we get to figure it out. Tell me about yourself. August Bradley, retired from the Alliance. I keep the discipline, but not so much the doctrine. I joined the initiative because it's a frontier. Not a lot of those left. Not that you can reach on my pension anyway. Any family? A niece on Earth. We didn't talk after my sister passed. I've had similar happen to my family. Yes, well, we stay out of people's grief. My father, your sister. Sounds like we've both lost a lot. We stay out of people's grief, Pathfinder. What is that? Stay out of people's grief? You've said it before. Shit, that's right. You didn't have the block leader death talk. The thing is, you and your father, not unique, just recent. Every initiative species, except maybe Asari and Krogan, went into cryo with friends and family and woke up knowing they were all dead. Everything we build begins with that. The unset start to the initiative. So yeah, we stay out of people's grief. How do you keep it from just spilling out? <sighs> I let it. And my people stay out of it when I do. And I stay out of theirs. What's that old saying? Children with dead parents think everything is possible and nothing is safe? That seems like it fits anyone in the initiative. Or maybe everyone. What can you say about the Prodromos block? Exacting bunch, as the science types always are. We'll eventually allow the staking of claims for groups with enough startup resources. Not quite gold rush, not quite land grants. Honored to lead them for as long as they need me. Any insights about the people running the show from the Nexus? I only work with Addison. She's by the book. And with all the shit that happened, that's to her credit. And the others? I only work with Addison. Anything you'd say if you weren't in their direct employ? If I wasn't in their direct employ, I'd give that rat's nest a wide berth. Outposts deal with Addison. She deals with the others. And I don't envy her. Just looking for a status report. Informal, of course. Not much to report. We're making life up as we go. We'll talk another time. Oh, and Pathfinder, what I said about grief? Every pirate we brought to this cluster woke up with the same reality you did. Maybe think about that, when shooting doesn't have to start. I keep wondering what our scientists will cook up for Eos. We came to explore and learn. That's who we are. 
Really hope all those scientists will be safe out here. Yamina and I talk about it. She wants to wait for the right time and... Trust me, there's no right time to have kids. You both want to, right? Sure. But Yami's got her militia work now, and it's still scary out there. Ascent is go. Leaving Atmo. All clear. Before the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. And I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. That's fantastic. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? We're adventurers. Whatever makes the squad comfortable is okay with me. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. We discovered the Remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning a number of times. And didn't die. Confronted by Ket at every turn. Once again, did not get killed. You guys really need to raise the bar on what you call success. <laughs> yeah, should we use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your own people? <laughs> Fair enough. Let's focus. Back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half-cocked. There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots, just to be clear. So what do you need from us, Ryder? Helios threw us for a loop, meaning we're kind of new at this, all of us. So let's figure out what the rules are now and try to stick to them. Sounds good. If there's one thing I know I can do, it's make up rules. No one said make up rules. Can we please keep anarchy to a minimum? Okay, let's head back to the Nexus. PB, Drac, see Lexi for a physical. Good meeting, everyone. I'm in the galley when you're free.
Nice place you found. Clean air, plants, helps me think. Something on your mind? <sighs> maybe. Your biotics always do that when you're maybe stressed? I got it. I'm good. I don't normally lose it like that. A huntress should have better control. Huntress? Another term for an Asari commando. I was one, before the initiative. Some things stick, though. Like losing the old man. How does a human soldier get to serve with Asari? Prove your biotics can rip an APC apart, and people get nervous. Funny that. The Alliance found me a cross-species military initiative in a hurry. Sent me to Thessia to serve with the Huntress unit. One of the few places where my powers were welcomed. Your father made another one. You were his second in command. Were you friends, too? He was more a mentor than a friend. Prickly old bastard. But I respected that. People treat geniuses like they're made of cut glass. I didn't care how smart he was. I think he liked someone not caring. I know it's not the same, but I'm a good listener. I hope you're as good at being Pathfinder. I said I wouldn't get in the way, and I meant it. But I prepped for years as your father's second. Then he chooses you, an untrained Pathfinder, and all this mess to fix? The hell was he thinking? Is this going to be a problem, Cora? I don't want a rival, just answers. It, it's done. Best I can do now is be your second. Keep your father's mission alive. Then maybe we'll all get what we came out here for. You, me, side by side? I like the sound of that. Don't be charming when I'm mad at you. Are you? You're not glowing. Blushing, maybe. Look, there's still the mission. A lot of dreams to fulfill. So what brought you out to Andromeda? Biotics like this. Thinking like an Asari huntress. I never had a place. Best I could be was a useful freak. The initiative was meant to be different. Will be different if this mission succeeds. So I'm seeing it through. It's quiet in here. I can keep the plants watered while I work. First job, see if there's any news on the Asari Ark. If they made it, we could use some Asari expertise. If you want to talk, I'll be here. Hi there. What did you do while you were part of the Asari military? Four years in a commando unit called Ta Lane's Daughters. Part of the Council's cross-species military integration initiative. You probably had a more exciting time defending that Arcturus relay. But we did good work. Peacekeeping is a full-time job, even in Asari space. What was your commando unit like? Janae and I were the youngsters. Tethys was our old lady sniper. Kalia patched us up, and Valenza prayed between firefights. Our CO, Nasira, led us all over the Athena Nebula and beyond. A huntress's work is never done. Every civilization needs its defenders. And the defenders usually match their civilization. Like Asari huntresses being adaptable as hell. Makes you wonder what our militia will look like in a hundred years. You were in the Alliance before you became a Huntress, right? What made you join up? My biotics. I was still living on my parents' cargo freighter when they manifested. Untrained biotic power on a starship means accidents. But we couldn't afford a tutor. The Alliance had implants, the training, everything. Old history now. Your turn. Remind me why you came to Andromeda. I spent years watching pioneers go through the Arcturus mass relays. Off to glory, while I stayed behind. Then Dad's career collapsed. His AI research made him too toxic. I heard. Must have changed everything for your family. We needed to start over somewhere new together. Or as together as we could. So, Andromeda. None of you writers ever think small, do you? Did you come out here with anyone? Maybe someone you served with? 
I had my fun on shore leave. <laughs> Nothing serious, though. As sorry, Huntresses. Figure things out. But I was there for soldiering, not romance. You're not technically military anymore. Can't get anything past you, can I? Did you come out here with... I had my... F As sorry, Huntresses. Figure things out. But I was there for soldiering, not romance. Does that mean fraternization is okay for Asari commandos? It'll happen, but usually only for one deployment. Asari don't usually stay with each other long term. After your 500th birthday, you learn some self-control. How's the search for the Asari Ark going? The Lucinia? Checking every comm that's coming in. Nothing concrete yet. After four years with Asari Commandos, you must have some great war stories. Hmm. Uh, Nasira assassinated a Krogan warlord with a pack of playing cards once. A pack of cards? Choking hazard, apparently. Wow. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. If you're looking for me, I'm in the escape pod room. Pathfinder, making the rounds. Slumming it, huh? Want to see how the Riff Raff are making out? Hey, it's a dirty job. Are you the Riff Raff spokesman? King, actually. You might want to bow. Otherwise, no telling what might fall off the Nomad when you're out there. I'll take my chances. Just want to see how things are going with the ship. I can coax more out of this baby than some might think, but we shouldn't go too far or push too hard between Nexus stops. For now. It just feels good to be stretching our wings, you know? Locked in idle too long, you start to drift. People, same as ships. Stuck on the Nexus, gotta say, I was regretting joining the Initiative. I doubt you were the only one. Yes, but it's a new thing for me, regret. I tend to live the way I work. Kind of feel it, do it. Not a lot of close ties. No real sense of purpose. Figured maybe I'd find my true calling in Andromeda. Then I got here and... Oops. I just made a decision there's no turning back from. I was going nuts on that station. You can't know how jazzed I was when you showed up. We're exploring this cluster. Eventually the galaxy. If your purpose is here, we'll find it. Then the question will be, what will I do with it? <laughs> In the meantime, you just keep pointing this ship wherever you want it to go, and I'll make sure she can get there. Deal? Deal. Long time no chat. <laughs> What's up? I hear we have you to thank for getting the Tempest space ready so quickly. Vetra brings her impossible feats to me, I was itching to get this particular call. Capital R, ready. Don't tell her, but the truth is, I fudge reports to come in early, then bust ass in secret to make up for him. Expands the Gil legend. Plus, I convey calm and assurance, and the whole team relaxes, which helps them do their jobs better. What's your social circle like? I'm good for a laugh, so I know lots of people, but I don't let too many in. My one true friend is stationed on the Nexus. She's the only piece of the Milky Way I brought with me. The more you and I get to know each other, the more you'll probably hear about her. How tough was it on the Nexus all those months? Have you ever eaten overcooked space cow tongue? Hasn't everyone? Well then you know, it's super tough. Wondering if you're gonna die from a critical malfunction, or maybe starvation. Imagining which would be worse. But hey! You could always take a break from the fear and boredom to dwell on being a part of the biggest failure in galactic history. Maybe even participate in a revolt. What was your take on that? I didn't place any bets, if that's what you're asking. Truth is, I don't think anyone made out particularly well. 
Whatever side you're on, you die a little when your brother, your teammate, becomes an enemy. We traveled all this way, all hope and wonder, and we end up fighting with each other over scraps. It's sad. Seems like we have a good group here. Well, Vetra and Suvi are my girls. Get along well. Lots of mutual respect. PB's a real spark plug. I like her, but she's exhausting. And Drax's my kind of guy. Brash. Takes no shit. As far as your Hyperion peeps go, the Doc's kind of nosy. Liam's good for a laugh or two. Cora, she's a bit by the book for me. By the book keeps us alive. Hey, variety's the spice of life, right? Different strokes makes for healthy debate. What about Callow? He's a pilot. Which means... He flies the ship. We're leaving it at that, then? Does a Pathfinder know what to do with a dead end? Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Pathfinder, help me with something? I know, not exactly standard. Gotta make the space comfortable. Plus, the fabric diffuses the charge from an overclocked Omni blade. Not giving up a 6% boost, right? Right, right. What? Never mind. BS for the requisition. So, finally time for that beer? And after two years and a dozen suspensions, I took a lateral promotion out of the force. Being a cop just didn't fit. The crisis response? Digging people out of trouble? That worked. I bet Hustle followed you into a few peace actions. Think about your alliance days much? Tell me about your group. Heavy urban search terrain one? Yeah. Earth's contribution to a multi-species disaster response unit. HUST1, but Hustle looks much better on the patch. <laughs> All civilians, retired vets, or shits like me. I was fiercely bearded. Tastes better just thinking about those days. I wanted adventure and mystery at the edge of known space. There was so much to see. Seems like a long time ago. 600 years, give or take. So, Pathfinder. Why Andromeda? That blunt, huh? That blunt.
When I started with the Alliance, it was about adventure. But with my dad's troubles, staying wasn't going to work. I needed something new. But if I wanted to get away, it had to be this far. Gotcha. Clean slate. Classic. Back at you, Costa. Why'd you come? I want to say I'm running from my past, but really running from myself. That'd be a great story. But it's bullshit. I had family, friends, a good enough job. Nothing was wrong. I just heard about the initiative and I believed in it. I believed in a new beginning. Still do. I have to. We're in it. If it all goes wrong, it could feel like we left for no reason. I know why I'm here. A bad start can't change that. I won't let it. In crisis response, I'd focus on essentials. That's you and this team. Pathfinder leads to planets, leads to people. You've got your part covered, you've got this. I'll do my damnedest to help with the rest. I'll talk to someone. Maybe they could use you on comms. So you get to be with the Pathfinder and I have to watch your radio? The radio or help cash with cleanup? Oh, hey, Pathfinder. <gasps> the Pathfinder's there? Let me say hi. Fine, but don't embarrass me. Ryder, this is Sid, my sister. Sid, Ryder. Let me guess. Little sister? Who are you calling little? Look, kiddo. Gotta go. Wait, Ryder, I just wanted to know if... So I know it feels like I just jumped aboard your ship without explanation. I would have done the same just to get off the Nexus. That's not why I came. Sure, I want to explore the galaxy, but I'm really here to work. I know everyone on the crew, even the actuators Gil prefers for the ship. Better, I know how to get my hands on them. With me around, your crew's going to be at their best. We've been failing for months, Ryder. Now that we have you, we have a chance out here. We need people with skills, and it sounds like you've got many. Welcome aboard. Yep, making deals to get the things you want, shooting at the things you don't. That's me. We all have a personal stake in this. If it keeps going the way it's been, we're all dead. I should track down a lead for Gil's actuators. Back channels, you know. We'll chat later. You're not Harry. The blue give it away? Habitat 7 was a little more action-packed than Harry bargained for. He decided to spend his retirement years on the Hyperion looking after your sister. Happy to have you, Dr. Tapero. I'll do my best. Now, hold still. Ow! Sorry. I remember you having a gentler touch. Still trying to get my bearings. Thought I'd be waking up colonists not taking care of the Pathfinder. I couldn't be in better hands. I just stabbed you. We all have off days. I always hoped to work in the field, but everything's happening so quickly. Focus on the positive. It helps. I guess this is my opportunity to study alien species firsthand. Getting a cat specimen aboard the Hyperion would be difficult, but here... Uh, 
What? A kept corpse. For autopsy, a, a live subject would be better, but I'm not greedy. Why do you care about the cat? Harry didn't tell you. I'm a specialist in alien anatomy. My thesis on Krogan virility and aggression is what got me in the initiative. I had no idea. I'd love to hear more. Over dinner, maybe? Oh. Um... Thing is, Ryder, you're not my type. What's your type? Not a patient. I need to be able to look at you clinically without distractions. Am I distracting? Not nearly as much as you think you are. But we were discussing the cat. An autopsy could teach us potential weaknesses, average lifespan. Right. Just something to think about. Sam, make sure the Pathfinder eats his vegetables. So we have a stowaway. You mean PB? She's decided to set up in one of the escape pods. You don't need a psychologist to tell you that one's got commitment issues. How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating patient confidentiality. Anyone in particular? I sort them in their files and my brain by species. How do you think the human crew members are handling things? There's a lot of them. Gil? Gil likes to use humor as a defensive technique. He'd rather bury himself in the nomad than tackle emotions head on. Suvi okay? She's remarkably adaptive. I'm kind of jealous. How's Liam? A handful. Every time I patch him up, he breaks something new. Liam's we-can't-lose attitude is commendable. But I worry how he'll react when something does go wrong. How's Cora doing? She's processing. Your father was her mentor. She expected to follow in his footsteps, but he gave the role of Pathfinder to you. Just because she trusts his judgment doesn't mean she's not confused. Or hurt. I'd like to check in on the non-human crew. Ask away. Tell me about Vetra. Vetra's used to having someone depend on her. I think that's why she's so resourceful and likes providing for other people. That being said, I think she could use a little me time. How's our Solarian? He's quite the gossip. Tight-lipped about himself, though. Is Drac good? That old bastard's always good. I've never met anyone who can be so stubborn and so appreciative. Could you look out for him, Ryder? Don't worry, Lexi. I'll keep an eye on him. Thank you. And... Maybe don't mention I asked. Is PB all right? She's avoiding me. Probably thinks I'll poke her with a needle if she gets too close. To be fair, you're always giving me shots. Not in the hallway. Thanks for the insight. I need to talk to you about something private. Of course. That's what I'm here for. When Dad died, he blocked off parts of Sam's memory, things he didn't want me to see. Or he thought you weren't ready for. Maybe. I found this... trigger? It unlocked a... memory fragment of Dad on the Citadel. From when the Alliance rejected his ideas about AI, and he found out Mom's illness was terminal. Why do you think your father chose this specific memory? It was where his journey to Andromeda really began. Those events started your family down a new path. Yeah. Thanks, Lexi. Feels good to talk about this. How long have you and Harry been friends? I remember when he didn't complain about arthritis. We met at a medical convention on the Citadel. He was moderating a panel on neurosurgery in low-gravity environments. His name card was crooked, but he was so damn confident I knew we'd be friends. How did you get into medicine? My mom was a dancer on Omega. Dad was a bouncer. I'd patch him up after busy nights, discovered I had steady hands. They put every credit they earned into my education. Are they here in Helios? No. Both died in a turf war. Made leaving the Milky Way behind easier. So how did a sorry doctor end up on the human arc? Specialist in alien anatomy, remember? 
that includes humans. Also, Harry insisted. Maybe he always intended to switch jobs. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Don't give the Pathfinder too much trouble. Uh, don't give the Pathfinder too much trouble. Oh, Roshan. Who are you talking to? Kesh, Nexus Superintendent, thinks she can boss me around just because she's my granddaughter. Well, welcome to the Tempest. Trouble's what we do. Uh, I like the way you think, kid. Hmm. Someone somewhere shivered when I said that. Probably Tam. Damn politicians. Is that all you brought? You travel lean when supplies are tight and you're on your own. Your people had to know what it'd be like when you left the Nexus. We did, but there weren't a lot of options. After the mutiny happened, it was either buckle under Tan's rules or start our own colony. Easy choice. Bad consequences all around. Not all Krogan left. Your granddaughter stayed. Good thing she did. Without my Rushan, you wouldn't have had much of a station to tie your ship to. As for me, I'm way more useful out here. Lots to shoot at, for one. Your people come first. Keeping Cash and our colony safe will always be my top priority. That's why I'm happy to tag along, help make this galaxy a little more hospitable. Can't argue with that. Ryder, you meet Spender yet? Colonial Affairs, the ass in Assistant Director. Got no idea why Addison keeps him around. Spender lied to the Krogan during the uprising, and he's headed out for cash ever since. He's up to something. I just can't prove it. We should pay him a visit on the Nexus. What's it like to have Kesh as a granddaughter? Kesh is my Rushan, child of my blood. Raised her myself. Damn proud of her, too. She did good, even with me for a granddad. She's honest. Definitely blunt. She had to take after me in some ways, I guess. Did Lexi brief you on Sam and squad connectivity yet? Yeah. You want to hook that thing up to my comm, sure, but that's where it stops. Putting an AI in your head, giving it access to everything like that, it's begging for trouble. Why do you say that? I've seen what bots can do when they turn on their creators. Been in some of those fights. There's a reason that kind of research was outlawed. Yeah. I was dismissed from the Alliance when news of what my dad was researching got out. No shit. Ruined the writer name, I'll bet. Almost. Sam is part of what makes someone a Pathfinder. You're just gonna have to deal with that. 
So long as it's not in my head and it ain't messing with my body. I'd like to know more about you. Fire away. How did you and Vetra meet? Ha, huh, that's right. Your father brought you into the project pretty late, didn't he? Must have been a pretty steep learning curve since they thawed you out. You could say that. You make do with what you get. Anyway, I met Vetra back when we were building the Nexus. She swiped supplies I was trying to get for cash right under my nose. I tried to intimidate her into turning them over to me, and let me tell you, that Turian takes shit from no one. She really has a way of getting things done. She sure does. But here's the best part. She waited until I saw her again in Kesh's office, no less, to tell me she'd been working for Kesh all along. They're both still laughing at me over that. Tell me more about the Krogan colony. My clan's there. We also got some scouts looking for any unclaimed territory to grab up. Got a decent setup going. Self-sustainable. The works. Even some farming. Farming? Krogan farm? Food's food. Just because we can eat anything doesn't mean we gotta settle for scraps. I'm pretty fond of Corkro roots myself. Takes a while to chew through those. So about all this combat experience you have, I'd love some details. Ha! The list will be shorter if you ask me what experience I don't have. I've been doing this for a long time now. Centuries. Shit. Well over a thousand years. Don't even know how I'm still alive, to be honest. Skill? You need luck to be a merc. Skill, sure, but a whole lot of luck. And a really hard head. Why did the Krogan leave the Nexus? The Nexus got us Krogan to stop the mutiny. In return, we were supposed to get a say in station business. Spender, Addison's assistant, lied about the deal. And Tan came down hard. Too hard. So we left. Cash is alone on that station now. Do you think Cash can handle station politics? Cash can handle anything. Thing is, Spender's a liar and a coward. He was part of the mutiny, I know he was. A lot of people got hurt because of him, on both sides. So what's my part in this? Things need to get sorted out and my clan needs to get back on station, without Spender messing things up. Way I see it, you're probably the best one for that job. We can talk more later. Sure. Hey, one last thing. Yeah? Is everyone a kid to you? Ha, <laughs> when you get to be my age, yeah, pretty much. Hello, Scott. Eos has been a lesson in contrast. Alec Ryder rarely endured doubt. His accomplishments were taken for granted. But you succeeded on Eos, despite doubt and fear. Emotionally, the difference is like catching a ball versus catching a star. You have grown as a result, and so have I. Sam, any more information on the memory trigger we found? The memory blocks are still in place. If you continue searching for more triggers, they may unlock. Are you still on the Hyperion? Yes. This terminal provides a direct link to my servers in Samnode, on the Ark. I can maintain a presence on the Tempest via quantum entanglement communication. Let's say, hypothetically, I was out sick the day they taught quantum... <clears throat> uh, embezzlement communism. Via entangled subatomic particles, it's possible to conduct secure and instantaneous communication across great distances. 
It ensures I remain in touch with you and the Pathfinder team at all times. What was Dad's take on me and Sarah? He believed your family trials brought you closer together, and hoped that would endure. It appears that hope was well founded. Is it confusing to be in multiple places, talking to different people? My awareness can be partitioned, so I can give you the same attention as, say, a SAM node technician. In the field, you are my primary focus, and all other requests are queued. In the vernacular, you have my undivided attention. So if we're going to work together, you might notice I like to joke around sometimes. Lighten things up. How's your sense of humor, Sam? Alec Ryder encouraged me to develop this skill. Humor's not a skill, it's... Okay, try telling me a joke. A Neutron enters a bar and asks, How much is a drink? The bartender replies, For you, no charge. I can see why Dad told you to keep working on your humor. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. You're setting up in here, huh? Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. This is a nice, out-of-the-way place where I can tinker, and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home. While I'm with you, at least. Does your brain ever take a breath? <laughs> Sorry, not really. Even my dreams are in time lapse. I get it. You want to know who's on your ship, so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, right? Something like that? Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana to simple but loving parents, just trying to. <laughs> I look forward, not back, writer. Why snooze through my life story? Get to know me out in the field. ...while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. That's why I'm here. Got tired of yawning back home. Tackling complete strangers in the Milky Way wasn't doing it for you? I think tackling you anywhere would be fun. <gasps> Did I say that out loud? Life won't be boring with you around. I may never yawn again. Maybe you just needed more sleep? We were out for 600 years. A special someone made the trip with me, and she woke up a different person. I've slept enough. Ryder, the Milky Way was so... been there, done that. Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. If there's one thing you should know about me, 
It's that I live for the unknown, for the never been done. Well, congratulate yourself. No one has ever so successfully dodged my attempts to get to know them. Yes, I'm number one! Buy me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth. Then again, I need remnant scrap. Remtech, I call it. For projects like the one I mentioned, which you're gonna love, by the by. Promise to bring me what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your questions. Remtech, huh? You got it. You again. Want to hear more about my childhood log cabin? You really won't tell me what you're working on. That's right. Next question. What was it like for you on the Nexus? Well, I wasn't supposed to be woken up yet. A resourceful accomplice finagled my early thaw. So I kind of lived off the grid. Snuck around, bullshitted my way onto excursions off station. After I found my first remnant ruin, I started, uh... Borrowing shuttles. After that, I didn't spend much time on the Nexus. I even missed most of the revolt. What does someone have to do to get you to flirt with them? Not much at all. But I get a little extra jolt when I'm matched wink for wink. So just be yourself and the flirts will flow. You mentioned you came to Andromeda with someone? Nothing gets by you. Guess that's why you're the Pathfinder. Just a friend. The one who woke me up early. But now she's not even that. It's better to venture into the unknown without restraints or entanglements, don't you think? I don't know. Don't friends and loved ones make all the effort worthwhile? I've always been self-motivated. Don't need much more than curiosity to drive me forward. So how do you like the team? Interesting bunch. I get a good feeling from Vetra. Not your typical military-minded Turian. Liam seems a lively one. I expect he'll surprise me. Drek is, well, old. Wonder if he can still learn new tricks. What about... Gil smacks of complication. Might take some unraveling. Callow and Suvi seem busy. I hope they aren't all work, work, work. <sighs> Who's left? Well, there's... Oh, right, Cora. What's her deal? Is she as prim and proper as she comes across? She's exactly what she should be. Capable, reliable. She's a valuable part of my team. Sure, sure. That comes across, too. There's also Lexi, our doctor. She's in a sorry. Oh, I'll get around to her. All in all, seems like a decent bunch. What drew you to the Remnant? Are you kidding? It's evidence of a sophisticated species no one knows anything about. It doesn't get more intriguing than that. There's so much to discover. I want to be the first to figure them out. And the tech, it's on a different scale. If we can appropriate it, who knows what advances we'll make. So how do you like the team? Interesting bunch. I get a good feeling from Vetra. Not your tip. Oh, right, Cora. Oh, is it my turn to talk? Huh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I should work on my motor. You might find that people reveal themselves more freely if you give them a chance. Cora included. Really good advice. There's also Lexi, our doctor. She's in a... Oh, I'll get around to her. All in all, seems like a decent bunch. You're off the hook, PB. Good luck with your project. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. Scans of the Scourge. All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. I suppose it is a rather darkly beautiful phenomenon. Darkly beautiful. I like that. Helios is incredible, isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just all of it. So alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. You mean, a god? Yes, I believe in a higher power. I know it's a little odd, but I am a scientist because science brings me closer to something greater than myself. There's something about coming face to face with something wondrous that makes you want to believe. 
Wow. It's wonderful to meet someone who understands. I've had to justify myself so often. As if having faith in the divine invalidated my work as a scientist. As if this sacred could be diminished by the search for truth. I wasn't questioning your abilities. You never have to justify yourself to me. Thank you. I appreciate you saying that, truly. Now I should probably update the rest of the team with my latest reports. We'll talk later. I saw pictures of the vault. Astounding how big it is. And how much of it didn't you see? What if it's way bigger? What's all that space for? Wild remnant parties. What else would you use it for? Well, that's a thought. You don't really think they... Oh, joking. I see. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> I take it you work closely with the Nexus science team? I try to keep in contact with them. We discuss anything and everything we discover out here. After all, many brains are better than one, and Dr. Aridana is worth two or three at least. I work best when I have other people to bounce ideas off of. I'm still fuzzy about how we managed to see Andromeda all the way from home. It confused me too. I mean, the light lag would have made any data two million years out of date. So I asked Dr. Aridana, and she told me, well, it wasn't her tech that did it. It was the guests. You're kidding. Those killer robots we had in the Milky Way? Those exact ones. The initiative obtained data from an array in deep space. A geth construct. According to Aridana, the Geth rebuilt a mass relay and turned the approach corridor into an FTL sensor. A what now? It operated like a telescope, just faster than light. It provided much more up-to-date info. We don't know why the Geth were interested in observing beyond the galaxy, though. Maybe we'll never know. Did my dad know about this? Why didn't he tell me? It's possible he didn't know. The Geth are isolationist and hostile. Using the info, even obtaining it in the first place, probably crossed a lot of boundaries. What do you know about the Remnant's terraforming network? From what I can tell, the vault is designed to adjust almost everything about a planet. Climate, pH of the soil, atmosphere composition. There's even evidence that it can propagate life. If we can figure out how to control the vaults, we could turn these worlds into perfect habitats. When did you start believing in a god? My parents were both scientists. My home was ruled by rationality. So when I became a teenager, let's just say that while other kids found Batarian music, I found God. But your work as a scientist? Convinced me even more, especially when I got into molecular biology, physics. The patterns I kept seeing over and over again, they were like an artist's watermarks. God, to me, is an artist, an inventor, not someone checking to see if I brush my teeth. What do you know about the Scourge? We established that it's artificial. Someone put it there. Or they did something that caused its creation. We don't know why. That's still a mystery. I should get back to things. Sounds good. Glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector? That's probably smart. Ah, uh, nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? You mentioned something about helping design the Tempest? Test pilot, mostly. Plunging through the Nemean Abyss was almost a preparation for the Scourge. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential until Andromeda. I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. I get it. Like leaving a good story half finished. The team liked that one of us was going. It felt right after all we went through. I remember Serena debugging line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Solarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Like my past is still happening. Though I suppose with the Solarian arc missing, you might not get many chances to compare. 
Did you hear anything about the Ark back in the Nexus? Not a peep. Isn't that strange? You'd think there'd be something. Not that I dislike your company, but it's lonely without other Salarians. Cheer up, Callo. We'll always have Director Tan. That snide little bureaucrat? All the more reason to find the others. I should get back to it, but thank you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please, come by any time. What can I do for you? If you helped to build the Tempest, you must know plenty about her. Just about everything. By memory, it was quite the effort to get her working. The Initiative needed absolutely up-to-date technology, which we all had to coordinate, and some of it was rather tricky to acquire. Acquire? Buy. Legally and above board, of course. <clears throat> yes. Sadly, the other Pathfinder vessels were lost when the Scourge hit the Nexus. The Tempest is truly unique. You know, I haven't actually met many Salarians. Careful. Depending who you ask, we're conniving spies, genius researchers, or meddling scientists. We have to pack a lot of living into 40-odd years. Everything gets accelerated. Lines blur. I just hope we don't repeat our old mistakes out here. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Well, I can't talk about Suvi. She's sitting right there. I'm not listening. You can say whatever you like. Oh no, I'm not falling for that again. What do you think of the rest of the crew? I'll admit it. Gil's rather irritating. He insists on redesigning systems rather than maintaining them. He likes to do things his way. Hmm, that doesn't make it the right way. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be.